does! This eyebrow product, and it can speak for itself. So smooth. Flip, flip, flop. It twists up. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of my current favorite products. I did check, I thought I'd done one of these recently, but I think the last one I did of these was like five months ago. So maybe not that recently. <laughs> so instead of just like holding up all my favorites, I thought I would actually put them on my face because you guys seem to find that the most useful. So if you wanna find out what products I've been loving at the moment, some of these I have spoken about on camera, some of these I haven't really spoken about on camera, um, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is actually skincare related. I was actually getting quite a lot of comments on my Instagram and on my YouTube saying, so if your skin looks really good, and I even said, in a video my skin is looking really good at the moment on the day that i'm filming this a nice spot has popped up on my chin nobody's perfect but i did actually mention in my video from whenever i last uploaded before i came back to youtube that i had started using dermatica again and dermatica are actually sponsoring this little portion of the video and i am more than happy to be working with them on this little segment and like talk a little bit about what they are just a little bit of backstory i actually started using dermatica last november so november 2020 so i used it for a few months back then and i found that it worked really well with my skin it really like cleared my skin up and obviously this is just me speaking from personal experience and then i stopped using it and i didn't use it for you know a good six months and then over the summer i think it was around like mid-august sort of time my skin started breaking out like crazy around my cheeks and i do get quite um frequent sort of like hormonal breakouts but it was especially bad. I don't know whether it was a combination of like hormones mixed with wearing masks a lot. So when we got back from holiday, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start using my Dermatica again. So I started using it again, probably about mm, on and off sort of around October time, but I've now been using it consistently for the past like three, four weeks. And already my skin is just looking so good. I just realized I didn't even say what it is. <laughs> Wait, let me just turn down the brightness. So it's basically like a monthly prescription service that is completely personalized to your skin and like your skin needs. And the way that it works is you basically go onto the website and create an account and then you can upload pictures of your skin and then their dermatology team will sort of review the photos that you've sent in and also like your main concerns so it treats stuff like acne and um, if anti-aging is something that you want to work on um rosacea melasma hyperpigmentation basically like a whole host of different skin issues so my specific subscription looks like this so this is my monthly nighttime skin treatment in this little bottle it looks like a very small bottle this will last you the whole month you need one pump well I use one pump. <laughs> and my particular prescription has got tretinoin, which is supposed to help with like fine lines and stuff. And a whole host of other things actually. It's also got niacinamide and azelaic acid. Some of the ingredients that they use and put into their skincare is only stuff that you can actually get on prescription. It does actually say apply one to two pumps on the whole face daily at night. And it also recommends that you keep it away from your eyes, lips, and your nostrils because those are like particularly sensitive areas. I have been really, really impressed with it and it works for me. Obviously I'm not saying that it's a miracle cure and that it's gonna cause you to never have a single wrinkle or single spot ever again. However, let me just zoom you in and I'll show you my skin. So this is what my skin is currently looking like with no makeup on it. I've got nothing on my face right now. I literally went and washed my face and this is what I'm looking like. So my skin still isn't perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect. But if I put in some before and after pictures of my skin on the screen, you can actually visibly see the difference in terms of like the texture of it. Sometimes I do get the hormonal ones that still sort of come through, but they're nowhere near as bad as they were like when I stopped using this and in like the before pictures that I showed. Sometimes in the evenings, I will put on my Dermatica and then put on like a sort of like basic generic moisturizer. So if your skin is a little bit more sensitive and also while you're sort of like getting used to the prescription um i did find that it actually really helped me to put on a moisturizer as well as it but just like a very bog standard moisturizer like the just like gentle sort of like cetaphil one or something it's 19.99 a month and obviously that is an investment like for me personally i would spend 19.99 effectively 20 quid on just random things that I don't need. And so I'm quite happy to put that money into investing into my skincare. You can get your first month for free and I have a discount code so you can get 10% off your second month. And my discount code is just SOF10. I'll put it on the screen. The link will be down below. And if I've missed any information, just go and have a little look on their website because obviously they'll have all the information there. So yeah, it's been really good for me. I would really recommend it. I will leave the link down below. The next thing that I want to talk about is actually a dry shampoo. And I'm going to put some of this in my hair now because my hair is actually looking a bit greasy. This dry shampoo is pretty expensive 
expensive. It is the Living Proof PhD Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And it says that it actually cleans your hair, which I mean, I'm not too sure about that. However, I will admit this is a very good dry shampoo. I still love my Batiste dry shampoo because that one is like under five pounds. This is the only other dry shampoo that I found that's not Batiste that actually works on my hair. And so when that happens, I know that it's something pretty special because I've been using Batiste since I was literally like 16. But as you can see, it goes on pretty much clear. I feel like I'm betraying my Batiste, but it is really good. It also smells very fresh. So in terms of my makeup favorites, I'm just gonna add a little bit more lip balm. <laughs> I spoke about this on my Instagram stories. It comes with a little spatula. Which is genius if you've got long nails so you don't have to stab your nail into it. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. I've been using this every single day for the past three weeks, four weeks. I have barely made a dent and this is how big the jar is. You get 20 grams of lip balm in this pot. So it is expensive, I think it's around 16 pounds. Actually, some people DM'd me on Instagram and said that they found this in TK Maxx. So maybe have a little look. It says that it's a sleeping mask, but I wear this during the day as well. It's just so good. So if you're looking to get anyone a Christmas gift, it's great. Something that has snuck its way into my favorites, I think this is like 32 pounds, is the Ilamasca Hydra Veil. It's a really good primer. Why you gotta be so expensive? Also, people were telling me that this little spatula does come out. It does. I wore this on a day where I needed my makeup to last all day. <laughs> Look at it, it's literally like jelly. You don't need much of it. This is actually too much. I feel like this is about to flop off my face. Yeah, you don't need much. I've just put on way too much actually. <laughs> so it looks like jelly, but as soon as it hits your skin and you blend it in, it almost turns into like a liquid. And yeah, you probably need about half the amount that I've just put on because this is gonna take a while to dry down, but it dries to this sort of like sticky tacky feeling makeup just sticks so well to it like it works as such a nice base for foundation it feels very hydrating which i mean i guess is kind of in the name it's just so good it's really good i'd heard good things about illamasqua makeup it is pricey but again like maybe if you know a makeup lover and you want to get them something nice for christmas this is something that everyone i'm sure will appreciate it's just really sticky and then for my base products i actually had a look at my previous favorites video from three months ago five months ago and I'm still using all of those things but something new that I have been using is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. I have got the shade 2 to 3 Light and I've just realised I don't have any fake tan on right now so this is going to be way too dark and I'm going to have to bring some bronzer down my neck but it's basically like a tinted moisturiser kind of thing. I get on really well with the L'Oreal True Match foundation like the original one but this is basically just like a more lightweight everyday sort of version and I really... <laughs> James is running a bath. I really really like it. It just is really easy to blend. It gives your skin a really nice like glowy finish. Yeah look. It's just really nice. And it is really affordable. I think it's like around 10 pounds. I think I need to turn down this light a bit. It's really bright. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like you've got too much on your skin, which is probably one of my favorite things about it. Um, let me just grab a bronzer. Just bring a little bit of this down my neck. A concealer that I've really, really been enjoying using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This is the Magic Touch Concealer, and I've got the shade 4. I absolutely love the doe foot on this. I've definitely used this in a video, but I didn't sort of say it was my favourite. But I've actually been using this quite a lot since then, and it's just really nice. It's got really good coverage. My only slight issue with this is that the colour is not quite right. But you know what? Maybe I just need to try another colour, but it's got such full coverage. It blends out really nicely. The only thing is, it is quite thick. So if you're the type of person that um, doesn't really like the feeling of makeup, like you can definitely feel this one. However, it reminds me a lot actually of the Tarte Shape Tape. And something that I've realized that I've forgotten to do, which I do every time, is my eyebrows. This eyebrow product. When I first tried this, I thought it was good, but I don't think I was using it right. This is the Refi Brow Gel, and I have been using this so often over the past month. I rediscovered it and thought, oh, I'll give it a try because, you know, it's supposed to be good for like soap brows and stuff. And this is actually owned, um, the brand is owned by Jess Hunt, who's like a, um, 
Instagrammer and she's a model and she's stunningly beautiful and she's got the most amazing eyebrows but okay just watch my eyebrows transform it is better to do this when you don't have your foundation done just because I like to brush my eyebrows upwards and you know if you've got your foundation on already kind of gets in the way a bit but you open the lid like this and it's got a little comb and so then what you do is just comb through your eyebrows and it sort of like flattens them and gives you that sort of soap brow effect so if that is something that you guys like i know that's not for everyone a lot of people hate brows that look like this it's fair enough it's all just down to personal preference but if you like the sort of soap brow look um of just like super fluffy eyebrows this does such a good job of that and then i will just like go along the top like that down towards the tail to sort of make them a little bit less big and I find that it lasts all day. There was one day where I literally wore no makeup. I just put this in my brows. By the end of the day, my brows were still laying flat. They were still there. They hadn't moved. And she also makes brow pencils as well. I think I've got the shade medium or do I have light? I'm not sure because it doesn't actually say it on here. But her brow pencil is also so good. And like when I first tried these products, I thought they were good. But I just sort of forgot about them. Um, and now that I've discovered them again, I'm actually obsessed. They are so, so good. Yeah, this is a lot easier to do with no foundation on because it's sort of like slipping around everywhere. But basically, if you're looking to try some new brow products, I would highly recommend these ones. So the Made by Mitchell blushes have made it into favourites videos in the past. But I recently tried the Made by Mitchell blush bronzed in the shade Shady Business. And this has also made its way firmly into my favourites. Mitchell, how do you do it? He just knows what he's doing. There's not really much else I can say. Like, I think we all know by now that these blushes are gonna make it into my 2021 favorites video. And I'm confident enough to say that with the blush blushes especially, but this, like, do you see how easy it blends? And he has such a good shade range and is looking to add more shades. He was literally like asking on his Instagram today, but he is just doing it like no one else. I don't even think I've showed this on my YouTube channel yet. I've showed this on my Instagram. I got this just before I got ill. Finally, finally got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. I just signed up to the waitlist and as soon as they went live on the website, I was straight on there and ordered one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. Let me just put this on my face. And it can speak for itself. You barely need to touch it and it blends. I actually wanna put some more on. I didn't put very much on then, but you can squeeze out as much or as little as you like. I like quite a lot, evidently. And it's just a couple taps and it just blends. It just blends so seamlessly and it's so beautiful. My powder favorite is this little three pound 50 powder from Primark. The PS Blurred Out Skin Conditioning Primer. It is quite small, but then it is only £3.50. And you want to be careful because I tipped this up one time to get some out and all the powder fell out onto my lap because the little sifter fell off. So just be careful. The only downside to this powder is it has mad flashbacks. So you can't wear this in flash photos. But if I'm just going out and like seeing my friends and we're just going to dinner or like going to the pub, no one's taking a flash photo of me. I think me and my friends have about two photos together <laughs> of all of us as a group. So like, you know, so it's not a problem. I just wouldn't wear it to an event. And again, I have showed this on my channel before. Like, look, it makes my under eyes look so smooth. Oh, I meant to mention before I started doing my makeup, these brushes, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this brand. Can you see it's called refer i think oh my god i was sent these brushes to just like try and they're honestly some of the nicest brushes i think i've ever used they are so soft and such good quality and they have not shed on me yet probably some of the best eye brushes i've ever used because they have these tiny little blending brushes and they're just the perfect little shape they are so good honestly these i feel like they these have leveled up my makeup <sighs> just got powder like all in my eyelashes. I don't know whether it's a bit shameful to say, I don't actually have a new highlighter favorite. 
because the one that I just seem to always go back to and always reach for is my own. <laughs> with Revolution, this is my cookies and cream highlighter. And like this shade in particular, the one with the S on it, it's just my favorite. I just love it so much. Obviously my own products are gonna be my, my favorites, okay? I created them for myself, well, and for other people, but you know. I didn't do any powder, bronzer, or blush. Do I have a new favorite to show you? I mean, honestly, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury palette a lot, but it is 60 quid. And I've spoken about it before, so it's not really like a new favorite. I just use a bit of my Kiko bronzer, that will do. I have got another line of favorite. This is the Glisten Cosmetics X The Clay Drop Limited Edition Split Liner Palette. I really hope this is still available. First of all, look how cute it is. And second of all, does this not just look so aesthetically pleasing? I have tested every single one of these shades and I can confirm that they are the exact same formulas as Glisten Cosmetics other liners. But the cool thing about this is you have loads of shades in a palette. So you don't have loads of little like tiny pots and their wet liners are just so good. I use these more for just sort of like creative um, graphic liner type looks which is pretty obvious. But I don't use these if I'm doing like, um, if I wanna do just like a classic black wing because they are water activated. The good thing is they come off really easily. But for that reason, like if you have watery eyes and you use them as eyeliner, they will smudge. So I use them for my graphic liner, sort of like in my crease or like at the side of my eye. And I have worn these all day as like graphic liner and they don't crack, they don't smudge unless they get wet. But I just use like a spray bottle of water. This used to be a setting spray. I refilled it with water. I'm gonna do something red. So I'm gonna take the shade Ziggy. Honestly, I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. That kind of didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but. And it's not quite even, but they're just really fun. They're really fun to play with and they work really well. I keep trying mascaras that I think like, oh, I really like that. And then I wear it for the whole day and it will just smudge. So there's just like a few mascaras that I always seem to sort of like flip, flip, flop back and forth between. Currently I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is amazing. It is such a good mascara if you want length. Another favorite is the Maybelline Sky High and also the Revolution Mascara Revolution. But please, if anyone has any recommendations for good mascaras, that don't smudge if you have oily eyelids or like oily under your eyes please let me know in the comments so this is what the mascara looks like and then finally for the lips um it goes without saying i don't need to mention my lip kits with revolution again i literally use them all the time for somebody that maybe already has my lip kits or is sick of hearing me talk about them <laughs> these are three products that i've really been enjoying as well so this lip liner is by huda beauty and it's called the lip contour 2.0 in pinky brown and it's spelt pinky like Pinky, the dog. If anyone's watching that doesn't know, my dog is called Pinky. It twists up. Revolutionary. And it's a really nice formula. It's a really nice color. It is just kind of like a My Lips But Better color. It's just a really nice lip liner. And then the two lipsticks that I really have been enjoying, one of them is the one of those Milani ones that was like the viral TikTok lipsticks. This is the shade Pleasure of the Milani, I think they were called Color Fetish or something like that. Not only do they smell really nice, they are just so creamy and this color in particular, like ugh, it's just so nice. However, I'm not going to put this one on my lips because I have recently put this on my lips in a video and also actually have a TikTok where I try on all of the shades that I had. But the reason I'm not putting it on my lips is because I want to put this one on my lips, which is the KVD Vegan Beauty Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick in shade... I nearly said she defined, she defined. And the packaging is really cool for these, but they are tiny. They smell so nice. Kind of smells like a MAC lipstick. This color is actually, <clears throat> you can tell my taste in lip colors. It's really similar, but these are so moisturizing. Like look, it just glides on, gives you a really nice amount of color. They do these in so many different shades, but like, hello. Look at this lip combo. It's so nice. And this is me done. This is my full face of um, my monthly, not even monthly, five monthly favorites, apparently. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And also please let me know your favorites in the comments down below. I'm just very quickly gonna answer a question of the day. Today's question comes from Tasmin, Tasnim Tabassum, I think. And they've said, which one is your favorite song from Red Album? What are your thoughts about the album and her short film and her directional debut? In short, what's your thoughts about this Red era? If anyone has no idea what they mean, they're talking about Taylor Swift and her new album. My favorite is actually the 10 minute version of All Too Well. And I'm not just saying that, like I have been listening to it on repeat and it's a 10 minute song. It would take a lot to do that. I love it. I did watch the All Too Well short film. I thought it was absolutely incredible it's 
a masterpiece. Oh, and in terms of my other uh, favourite songs, The Very First Night, I love that one. Forever Winter. And I Bet You Think About Me, like I love Chris Stapleton, I love country music. And she had a country twang back in that song and I just loved it, so yeah. Right, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to check out Domatica and thank you to them for sponsoring the little like beginning portion of this video. My discount code is SOF10 and it gets you one month free trial and then 10% off your next month. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.